Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am going to be trying out a brand new recipe for me and that is for pasta chips that are made in the air fryer. Now this is something that I had never heard of before. One of my viewers mentioned it in a comment so thank you Lori for letting me know about these because I looked them up, found out they were a TikTok kind of viral thing and so I went on to the WW website to see if they had a version. They did and that is what I'm going to be making because it's really easy and since I have never tried these before I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be like. I'm just going to go with the Weight Watchers recipe on them. Now I'm going to be making at least one change to the recipe but I will let you know what that is going to be when I go over the ingredients. So let me do that. The ingredients are super simple on this. You're going to need two cups of pasta. Now this is where, well one of the changes that I'm making to the WW recipe. They're calling for chickpea pasta. I don't have chickpea pasta. I have this rotini. So this is what I'm going to be using. You could probably use whatever type of pasta you want, but that's what I'm using. Next up, you're going to need six tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Now I unfortunately don't have shredded Parmesan cheese, which is what the recipe calls for. I've just got this kind, kind of like the craft kind. So that's another change, but I'm, I'm hoping that's not going to make much of a difference. And it's the same points as the shredded. But again, the recipe does call for shredded, not that. Next up, you're going to need some Italian seasoning little bit of salt, some cooking spray, and a little bit of olive oil. And that is all that's going to be in these or that you're going to need for these. Now the recipe says you can mix this up and use different seasoning, you know, whatever kind of you want to do. But again, since I've never made these before, I'm just going to follow their recipe as closely as possible and see how it turns out. So the first step here is going to be to cook your noodles. So I'm going to go get that going right now. All right, I've got some water boiling in a medium pot here and I'm going to go ahead, dump my pasta in and let that cook until it is al dente. The instructions say basically to cook a minute less than what the package tells you to for the al dente. All right, I let my pasta cook about eight minutes. It's looking good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drain it and then I will be back. All right, I got my pasta drained. So I'm gonna dump it in a bowl here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my air fryer preheating to 400. And then while that's preheating, I'm going to finish the rest of this here. So to that pasta, I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil and stir that in to coat the pasta. Next, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt and one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And finally, my Parmesan cheese, which again is six tablespoons. Then I'm gonna just mix this all together, throw some on the table there, and get this well coated. Okay, that looks good. And my air fryer should be preheated, so now we're gonna move over to that. Okay, go. This preheated, like I said, so now I'm gonna spray a little bit of cooking spray on the bottom of it. Now it says to lay the pasta in a single layer on the air fryer here. And it says if you have to do more than one batch in order to accomplish that, then do more than one batch, but you wanna have it in a single layer. So I'm most likely gonna have more than one batch on this. Okay, I've got that in a single layer. And so now I'm going to cook this. It says for eight minutes on 400, which my air fryer is 
I think it cooks a little hotter than others. I'm gonna start, or I'm gonna set it for eight minutes, but I'm gonna definitely keep a really close eye on it. The recipe also says to shake the pasta during the cooking time, which I'll be doing, but I think I'm gonna let it run for probably four minutes and then really check it because mine tends to cook things about in half the time that most recipes say. So as I said, 400 and I'm gonna go ahead and check it at four minutes, but I am gonna be shaking it during that four minutes too. So I'll be back at that point. All right, this is four minutes and they are not looking done to me. I went ahead and shook them once. Now the instruction says to shake them halfway through the uh, baking process. So I shook them once. I'm gonna probably let them cook another minute or two. I don't wanna burn them, but I definitely don't think they're done quite yet. So I can give it another minute or two and see how we're looking then. I let these go for seven minutes. You are, I don't think I said initially, but you're supposed to let them cook until they're slightly browned and crisp. These are definitely slightly browned. I don't know if that's picking up. And I don't wanna let them go any further than this because I do think they'll end up getting burned. So I'm gonna call this good, dump these out on a plate to cool, and then do my rest that I've got here, which will probably be about equal to that. And then I'll be back once I've got these all plated up. I just want to show you my second batch and also let you know I only let this cook about six minutes and I'm thinking it's looking just as done and just as brown as the first batch at eight minutes. And that might be because I only stopped this to shake it. I wasn't opening it a bunch of times to check on it. So again, my air fryer just cooks, I think, faster than most recipes say that it's going to. So I would say for my air fryer, somewhere between six and seven minutes to get them done. But again, every air fryer is different, but I did want to point that out that they did cook faster when I wasn't opening them and checking on them all the time, which does make a lot of sense because you're letting heat out when you do that. But anyway, I will plate these up and then we will go ahead and taste them. And here I've got them all plated up and they're not quite cooled down yet, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try them anyway. But before that, we are gonna have ours with some marinara sauce here. Why don't you grab that? I'll show you which one it is that we're using. This stuff right here, which was recommended to me by a viewer. I'm gonna try that out. And it's pretty low in points. So that's a quarter cup right there, and that's a point for a quarter cup. It's two points for a half cup but I've just got a quarter cup there. So whatever you want to dip these in, definitely um, have to account for the points of that. But these guys, for an eighth of them, it's gonna be three points on green. I need to double check and see what it is on blue and purple. Now, Weight Watchers is saying that, that this is gonna be, or an eighth of these is gonna be a half cup, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me when you're only, uh, using two cups of pasta total. Does that make sense to you, math-wise? I realize pasta doubles when it cooks, roughly, but then it shrinks kind of back down in the air fryer, so yeah. I don't think that's a half cup serving, or you're not gonna get eight half cup servings out of that, so I'm just gonna say a serving is an eighth of that, which is probably closer to uh, a quarter cup. But just letting you know what the website says. So, um, you wanna go ahead and try one? Uh huh. They're definitely crisp. I was worried about them not being like crisp. The, yeah, that crispy. They smelled really good when they were cooking. Did you smell them upstairs? Or no? Is it not going all the way up there? They're crunchy. Yeah. I mean, it tastes real good. You can taste the flavor of the pasta a bit. Yeah. How's the seasoning? It's just Italian and then salt and uh, Parmesan cheese. Yeah, nothing's really popping out. Okay. They're good. Parmesan? Yeah, it's Parmesan. You're supposed to use uh, shredded Parmesan, but I didn't have that, so I just used yeah, the Yeah, uh, so I mean, the, the, 
really it's the flavor of the pasta, which you wouldn't get if you didn't do a three, what is it, three? The three uh, colored one? Yeah. Tri-colored? Tri-colored. And then the Parmesan, which I really enjoy, and then that hint of uh, Italian seasoning, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So these were apparently viral on TikTok. Not this specific recipe, but this concept, the air fryer pasta chips. Yeah, real satisfying. Okay. So is this something that you would want again? And point-wise, for an eighth of those is three. Uh, I'm not sure it's worth the points. I mean, I would eat those. You would? Again. Again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now see those, that's really crunchy. Mm -hmm. And this one, well, not so much. Yeah, I think, well, some of the ones on top, I just pulled out and I think they have to take a little bit to crisp up. Like they're the kind of they're kind of like the tortilla chips. When you yeah. first get them out, they're not totally crisp. I like the real crispy ones. Yeah, well, that's, I think the idea since they're supposed to be chips, but. Yeah. Okay, well, so I guess that would be a win. Yeah. Overall, air fryer pasta chips. Um, thank you again to Lori for letting me know about these because, again, I had not heard anything about these. I don't get on TikTok, so uh, that was all new to me. They definitely have a nice, satisfying crunch sound to them. And you're still eating them, so I think they're good. All right, anyway, that is Air Fryer Pasta Chips. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, as always, for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Also, I wanted to add that I did try these myself. I meant to try them on camera, I forgot, but I wanted to let you know what I thought of them. I thought they were really good. We ended up eating all these, which was maybe not really good, but anyway, we ended up eating them all, and my husband said that he took back what he said about them not being worth the points. He definitely thinks they are worth the points now. So yeah, we really enjoyed these, something we will be making again, and I just wanted to throw that in there real quick.